Hey YouTube! In this tutorial we'll be covering the if statement and what the if statement actually is. So <clears throat> an if statement um, is really just a true or false checker. Um, in a way it's just a boolean statement. It can be as complex as you want. Um, but yeah, that's all it is. If it's true, do this. If it's false, do this. Or you could say if it's true, do this. Uh, or if this thing is true and just make it a big long string of stuff and then <clears throat> otherwise do something else. So that's really what the if statement is broken down. Um, there's also ways of doing it called a switch which is like a more shorthand can include multiple different if state or if cases um, in a more condensed way. Uh, you can use switch and if statements intercha interchangeably, but for now we're just going to do a good old-fashioned if statement. So let's do if. Um, well, first let's create a variable that we're going to say here. So bool. Uh, I don't know. Random random bool is equal to true. We're stating this as true in the beginning here because with our if statement we're just going to check to see if it's true. Okay. So if um, if random bool is equal to true. Notice how this I only put one equal sign but this I put two equal signs. The two equal signs in C++ is a checking to see if they're equal for, while a single equal sign means that it is, um, you're, you're making this thing equal. So one's more of a, uh, a statement, like execute this, one is a checker. <clears throat> so if random bool is equal to true, which we know that this is going to be true, then we want to, uh, we want to try something. So let's say, see out statement is true and then end up. If you remember from our um, creating our first program we did this using cout io stream that's end line so on and so forth. So this right here is one complete if statement. Technically you can leave it just like that. That's perfectly fine. You can also add stuff towards the end of the if statement. So you can say, uh, for example, else, which means basically otherwise, else say that it is false. Um, okay, so if we run this right now, you'll notice that it says statement is true, which is what we expected. So, so if we switch this now to false <coughs> and run it again, you'll see that it says statement is false. So that's that's an if that's a basic if statement. Now you can keep piling this on. In fact, let's add another bool. Random bool two and let's set that equal to true and say if random bool is equal to true and you do that by doing the two and signs and random bool 2 is equal to true then statement is true else if because this is also something that you can do uh, instead of just putting like if, 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 you can do else if, else if, else if, and what it, what the program will do is it will just go straight down the line and check. One thing to keep in mind is that programs run things from top to bottom, always. Um, so whatever order you put things in, it's going to do it in exactly that order. So uh, in this one, else if, um, then we'll just copy this here and say if random bool is false 
and then this one's false. Say statement is false, else, and then we'll just make this statement is something. Okay. So let's check out these statements. So if we make them both, if we make them, well, first of all, if we make it false and true, it doesn't satisfy any of these because this one's checking for true and true, this one's checking for false and false, and this one's just else. So this should return statement is something. Press it, and that's what we get. Notice. So if we switch this now to false, we will see the same thing. Statement is false. Um, so this right there is an if statement. Um, the, another thing that we can do here, so we, we discovered equals, and there's also or. Or is shown like this. It's the two, uh, I guess, line keys. I'm not really sure how they're called. In Linux, the, um, this is called piping. So if you're a Linux person, um, that's what that is. Uh, so in this case, if it's saying if this is false or if this is false, then this statement is going to show here. Notice how it says statement is false now. Because we're saying if this is false, and because the first one is false, this whole thing is now true because or is this or that. Um, there's uh, some of the other things that we can do is instead of bool, we can switch this to let's say int and then have some fun. So let's say five and eight. So now this is, it's not gonna be true anymore. I'm going to remove the rest so that we can just deal with this. So once again, if you do, if this is five and this is eight, it should say statement is true. Run it, statement is true. So you can do if um, if ran bool, let's say if it's less than if it's less than uh, ten. So it's saying if this variable is less than ten, and we'll remove the rest. Because these are these are now comparative things, which is all okay when dealing with if statements. We can do comparisons. So that statement is true. Um, let's also write this else. Statement is false. Okay. Um, so you can do that. Now, um, you can do less than or equal to. That's another one. You can do greater than or equal to, or just greater than. Um, you can also do something called not. So, um, an example would be if random bool is not equal to 10, it will return true. The exclamation point means not. And you can see that if we set it equal to 5, if random bool is not equal to 5, which is a false statement, it should return false, as you see here. Uh, so if statements is an extremely powerful thing. In fact, really, all computer programs use some form of if statement. Um, it's, it's the most fundamental part of programming. And this is really what it's all about, is to get the computer to do what you want to do. And in terms with Unreal, um, it's really just, you can use if statements for, um, for like collision detection, for a lot of the things that you use and that you take for granted in the engine is solved through basic if statements, and loops, and so on and so forth. Um, so there is what an if statement is. We're also going to do a little bit of a while loop, um, or not while, sorry, a switch statement, just to show you how to do that. So I'm going to create a 
variable, an integer variable, and we're going to say switch random. Now, the, this one looks a little bit different because what this is doing now is this is a um, an if statement which is more condensed. That's what switch is really. So switch is looking at this integer and this has cases. So it can do k or case and then let's say zero. And notice that when you type that, I'm using um, Visual Studios. This indents downwards and you can say if see out um, random equals one and then break. So that is the the main syntax for a case. Then you can do our case uh, one break case two break. What this means is if random is equal to zero, do this and then end it when whenever it's done. So you can write as many things as you want before the break. You can even write full if statements or another switch statement. You can do whatever you want um, in between this. And then you do the break. If random equals two, do this set of things. If random equals three, or if, sorry, if random equals one, do this sort of things. If random equals two, do this, so on and so forth. So it's like a more condensed if statement, as I said before. Uh, to check this out, let's just stick in a bunch of uh, of these, set them, one and two. This should actually be zero, shouldn't it? Okay. Um, so now let's set random to be equal to zero. You'll see that it says random equals zero. If we set it to one, then it'll skip over this one and do this if statement. So random equals one. Oops. And the same thing if we do two. random equals two. So there you have it. If statements and switch statements, they really should be covered on the same thing because they are quite literally the same thing. Switch statements come in handy when you're doing um, uh, like keyboard functionality, WASD, spacebar, GFT, especially if you're creating a game. Uh, switch statements will come in handy when you're trying to do keyboard inputs. It's, yeah, <laughs> I think you'll find if statements to be quite long. So switch is your friend in that case. But anywho, uh, next video we'll be covering loops. See you then.